How's it going people? How's it going traders? It's Dapo Willis once again now guys. Today I want to discuss a very very personal topic to me which is how I went from being broke to becoming a forex millionaire that you guys know now and that's on YouTube and all that. Now the reason why I like to speak about things like this is not to necessarily brag about how much money I have in my trading account and how many you know beautiful women I have in my life or how many fast cars I drive or the fact that I live in Dubai. The reason I do this is so that you guys can understand the real journey behind Forex trading. The problem I have with the industry is a lot of people come on YouTube and portray it in a certain way. And because of how they portray the... Sorry guys, I just need to make sure this is recording. <laughs> because of how they portray the, 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 Forex mark, the Forex market in a certain way, the Forex lifestyle, a lot of young people, not just even young people, a lot of people are led astray. They think that this is a game that they can easily come into, spend a lot of money, just put some money here and there and start making million dollars overnight. So... I've been doing this for 10 years and I feel like I'm in the best position to educate you guys on exactly how the journey goes. So if you are at a point in your life whereby you want to come into Forex or you're at a point in your life whereby you want to quit Forex or you're absolutely struggling with Forex, I feel like this story that I'm about to tell you guys, my own life's journey, my own life story in this industry can equally help you out as well so that you know, okay, Mr. Willis faced this at this particular time. I'm facing this right now. And this is exactly how he overcame this. So if indeed you want to stand any chance of becoming a millionaire in this game or making some good money and feeding your family, I suggest you listen to everything I have to share with you guys today. So let's go. All right, guys. So, um, this story might be a little bit different from what you were expecting. Okay, now the reason I'm saying this is the fact that whilst I was trading, for, I, I was fortunate enough. I'm not going to go into the early days of my trading. I'm going to save that for another video. So I'm going to use another video to explain to you guys um, my entire journey from when I was 17 and how I discovered Forex. That's not what I want to discuss today. I want to tell you about how I bounced back from being broke to becoming a forex millionaire that's what i want to share with you guys today so in order for me to just quickly make this video you know as, as short as possible in order for me to just summarize everything in 20 now this is very personal information that i've never shared with anybody right and i'm coming on here and being transparent as possible okay in 2016 um and early 2017 right so you guys know I started trading in 2012, right? So I'm just writing stuff down. You guys know I started trading 2011, 2012, right? Late 2011, 2012. I just left secondary school, high school. Mm -hmm. So uh, as of 2016, I'd been trading the market for about four years. Remi remember, guys, it had taken me about two and a half to three years to master this craft, right? And the reason why it took me three years, which I feel at the time, it seemed like a long time. But the reason why... For those of you who are struggling with Forex now, you realize that three years is actually a short time because a lot of people have been, have been doing this for about seven, eight years. They are still not successful. I know this because a lot of traders run to me like, hi, Mr. Willis, I watch your video. I've been doing this for 10 years. No luck. I've been doing this for 12 years. No luck. I'm like, oh my God, what have you been doing? And then obviously we have to refer them to Willis University whereby they take the course and then paying like just $99 for it. They take the program and then they come back to us like, oh my God, sir, thank you very much. This is life changing. I finally made my first redraw. You know yourselves and I'm happy you guys are making money. However, that's besides the point. It took me three years. I was fortunate enough to meet my mentor, right? And then things really changed around for me. And before I knew what was happening, my life really took off. However, in 2016, late uh, middle of 2016, I got a call from, um, now this is what actually led me to being broke. I got a call from a family friend and he said he was interested in Forex. Long story short, I told him, get some education. Let me coach you. Let me teach you. Let me do this. No, 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 no. What do you know? You're a small boy. I'm a big man. I've been doing this longer than you. I'm a stockbroker. You're a small boy. And you know, Africans are very condescending people, right? And the guy didn't listen to me. I'm like, all right, cool, do your thing, innit? As with most people on YouTube, they first of all, they, most people on YouTube, when they watch my video, they first, like, this guy, he's always talking higher time frames, always talking this, like, his strategy is the best. All right, your strategy is the best. Screw you. And then they go and blow their account. And then when they're done blowing their account, they run back to the comments 
of my videos and like, oh my god, boss, you are the best, you are this, you are that, you are that, after watching my videos. So same story with this guy, I'm like, dude, I know what it took me to get here, you know. Long story short, he invested about maybe $40,000 in his training account and he blew his account. So he calls me back and almost short of blaming me for blowing his account. And I was like, you know, this has nothing to do with me. So I rang up my mom at the time. I was like, yo, mom, this is exactly what's happening. Hold on, guys. I need to put the air conditioning on in my office. It's on low. I need to put it on medium because before I start sweating, don't go anywhere. All right, people. So I'm back, right? So long story short, he blows his account. And then he's calling me like short of blaming me for blowing his account. I'm like, this, is this guy serious? You're like, you introduced me to Forex. And I'm like, I introduced you to Forex. You must be crazy, mate. So the guy is obviously pissed off and all that. I'm like, listen, this has nothing to do with me. He was not like, okay, okay, I know this has nothing to do with you. How do we recover this money and all that, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know why that particular incident really, really, really made me feel bad, made me feel like a type of way because I was like, man, this Forex thing, like people are, you know, I was looking around and I'm like, well, people are really losing money in this Forex thing, you know, and it really made me sad. So... For a lot of you guys that are going through your Forex journey right now, your parents are probably telling you to quit. The wife is telling you to quit. This person is telling you that. This person is telling you this. You haven't really started seeing results yet, so you're not happy with yourself and stuff like that. I did this stupid thing at the time. I allowed what was happening around me and what people were saying about Forex to like nudge me, like knock me off my grind. So guys, I did the most stupid thing. I quit Forex. Yes, I quit Forex. 2016 not because i was trading badly not because i wasn't making money in the market but because i allowed what people around me you know i allowed what people around me like what they were saying get to me do you know what i mean like you know this one the, the guy was you know he was because i could see how stressed out he was out so i said to myself i said man then I started doubting my own self like i started doubting my own thing meanwhile i had been consistently churning out results for the last maybe 24 months yeah don't forget like 20 2014 2015 was my best trading year um at the time 2016 was absolutely fantastic this was just around brexit 2016 was smashing i remember because brexit happened and then the pound just dropped 20 uh, aud usd was trending as well so i just literally made a significant amount of money um from from the market but that just goes to show you how powerful the mind is like people just around me just you know kind of like speaking ill of the market and just like so you're still doing that thing so you're still doing that forex thing you know people just talking and i left out like you know what forget about this thing i'm gonna go i told my girlfriend at the time i'm like yo listen man i don't think i'm gonna do this anymore my mom told me don't go anywhere oh stay here and do this forex thing because this is your life you've been doing it since you were 17. You've been doing it since you were a kid. What are you doing? I'm like, mom, I'm tired. I don't really, I don't, I was not proud of the market. I wasn't proud to be called a Forex trader. So I quit. That's exactly what happened. Now, once I quit the market, I went, in less than four or five months, I was broke. Broke. Why? I'd redrawn all, all my money from the, my trading account and then I'd taken it to start investing it in other businesses. I wanted to do farming, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do export, I wanted to do a lot of things. So there's a saying my dad always tells me, he says, divided attention multiplies tension. I was going into industries that I knew nothing about. I was trying them for the first time just because I didn't want to trade Forex. I was literally leaving something I was so good at to go and do other stuff just to show you you know that even traders that know what they're doing still doubt themselves from time to time talk less of traders who are struggling with the market okay now the moral of this story is don't freaking quit but i'm getting to that and then you know i started trying other things here and there and guys yeah i even dived into digital marketing don't get me wrong like i learned a lot of valuable skills within that period i think that's really what has helped me build my empire but that's not even the case at that time it was a very bad time like i probably if i tell you how much money i had on me it was so bad like my literally my girlfriend had to support me at the time imagine madness i was like okay oh. I still didn't want to go back to Forex, still didn't want to go back to Forex. I was like, you know what, I'm out, I'm out of Forex, I'm going to find another way to break bread. Forex is not a, it's not a noble industry, it's not, it's a zero-sum game, you read people talk about this and then once your mind is in a particular state of mind, you start seeing all the negative things and blah, blah, blah. 
Long story short, guys, one day I just woke up. Like the people who used to respect me before, the people that used to look up to me before, the people that used to basically want to be around me, everybody was just dis dissociating themselves from me. My investors were not really respecting me anymore. People that I had taught how to trade were literally taking my own clients and my own investors. So I woke up one day and you know, I, said, I had a conversation with my mom and my mom was like, listen, you need to, like, this is what you know how to do best. Long story short, um, I'm flat out broke. 2016 slash early, early, early months of 2017. Um, I just had to say to myself, I'm like, okay, listen, you're flat out broke, Dabs. There's only one thing you know how to do well, which is trading for an exchange market. Now, guys, this is why I always tell people. You see signals, indicators, all those things, they, they, don't, they won't help you. At the end of the day, it boils down to your skill set. Okay? Your skill set. The Forex market is my ATM machine. Regardless of how broke I am, regardless of how rich I am, regardless of if you take everything away from me, if I open up my charts tomorrow, I will be able to feed myself. Okay, and this is why I keep preaching. For those of you who haven't taken the Forex Mastery program, you guys think that I'm just coming on here to shove down a course, shove a course down your neck. At the end of the day, it's not even that. It's a situation of, it's a skill set. The top-down analysis is a skill set. Your ability to interpret the market, and if you take the Forex Mastery program, you realize that. See, it is a situation of price action analysis that can be used for multiple instruments you guys come on here and you see me analyze bitcoin you see me analyze crude oil like i am analyzing commodities that are driven by opec prices and i'm correct because the principles of price action remain constant i analyze prices of coffee apple amazon you see this is not just a strategy of early morning new york session bullish candle crossover no no this is your ability to look at a chart and break things down right um sorry give me one sec guys i don't want to forget something yeah i just want to make sure it's torsion trader psychology you know so long story short i knew that okay and i knew i had what it takes for those of you who are thinking about getting the forex mastery program as always we will be glad to educate you guys the link is going to be down here just click the you just see grab the forex mastery program or my team always puts the link somewhere in the video right so back to what i was saying now how was i able to bounce back into where i am today i'll tell you what i did so i was flat out broke at the time my girlfriend you literally used to have to send me money a whole me a whole me 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 me, me you know Bless her, man. Bless her at the time. Bless her. I swear to you. Bless her. You know, she believed in me and she was like, you know what? Daps, I think you should go back. You should go back to this Forex thing. <laughs> you think you should go back to this Forex thing because, man, you love it so much. So, a lot of you guys are passionate about the Forex market. So, there's no point going anywhere. You need to see it through till the very end because it is so rewarding. Long story short, I was like, okay, time to go back, but there's no money. I didn't want to take money from anybody. So, what I did was, one day, I just actually, I logged into, because I was using FX Primals at the time to trade. FX Primals was my broker at the time. Um, FX Primals was my broker at the time. So I logged into my FX Primals account because I wanted to, I wanted to see if they were doing any promotional offers, like a 50% and all that. And I logged in there and then I realized that when I redrew all my money six months ago, they did not process the money so i had two trading accounts the two mt4 account there was a secondary mt4 account that i, I always like to have a high risk and low risk trading account so the high risk trading account still had a thousand one hundred dollars in there mm, guys now i have one thousand i'm literally starting now fresh one thousand one hundred dollars now the question is that's how did you now take one thousand one hundred dollars to a million bucks to where you are right now i'll tell you for free to, not to burst your bubble, but I did not take $1,100 straight to $1 million. This was the progression path for me. Now, as at 2017, I remember doing my analysis. So obviously, I transferred the money to my MT4. I have it with me. So I you know, put the money there and I do my analysis, my top-down analysis. And I found out that the market is not exactly trending at the time. So the market isn't trending at the time. I'm thinking, okay, hmm. 
all right cool so i realized that gbp usd is about to fall off a cliff like it was at a major decision point i knew from a monthly time frame i could tell like the market had pulled back into major resistance and the market was about to drop off i could see it but the market was still consolidating around that region once again top-down analysis always wins every time because if i'd started trading that market at that time just say okay i had one thought i would have blown the account because the market was not ready but the top-down analysis literally told me when the market was ready like i keep telling top-down analysis is on module five of the forex mastery program once again the link is always around here guys it's what i tell you before you do anything just go on higher time frames do your top-down analysis right and a lot of you guys okay before i digress i'm gonna come back into that shortly now back to the story now um do my top-down analysis the market is not ripe it's not ready so i have to wait like four five weeks because you have to understand something if you're trading with a small account and you want to grow your account at a fast pace the market needs to be trending when the market is trending, it makes it a lot easier to flip that account. I'll tell you for free. But if the market is stuck in a range, just like gold at the moment, as at the time I'm recording this video, it's Valentine's Day, Monday, 14 February, right? 2022. So just like gold right now, you can't walk into gold now with your small money and think you're going to double your... It would slice you into pieces. So I had to wait for about a whole month for the market to... For the thing to... You know, it's like a... You know, iPhone cables, like the ones, the wired ones, you know how they get tangled, like get tangled, and then you have to untangle them. So I literally had to allow the market to untangle itself and give me a clear direction. And that's exactly I, how I hopped onto GBPUSD and I was just riding it. So I grew the account from 1K to 5K in about three months and from 5K to 75 in another three weeks. Now, that was pretty high risk trading, which I don't encourage you guys to do. As you know, I encourage the 10% a month. Actually, we're currently on a 10% monthly um, return challenge at the moment. I'll speak about that in a subsequent video. However, this was my progression path from 1.1 1, 1 to 5K, 5K to 7.4. However, whilst I was doing this, that I, this is what I always encourage the Forex Mastery pro students on the program. Always connect your account to a, a platform called my FX book. Because my FX book will help you track your performance. So once I was able to grow my account, obviously, um, which I, I think I had an advantage that most people didn't have. However, it, it doesn't really matter, right? So I already knew some old investors. Um, I was already speaking to family, friends, and stuff like that. I already knew the wealthy people that I could, that had money, right? For you guys who are watching this, you know rich people. You, everybody has that rich uncle and that rich auntie. Everybody does. No matter how, you know, in abject poverty you are, everybody knows that person. So, you know, I had my equity curve and I started having meetings, you know. However, before I was able to grow this account to that, this thing, I had to go back to my my analysis so what actually really helped me grow that account that fast was the fact that i had been documenting my trades over time the ones i was taking prior to when i quit forex i had rec screen recordings i had videos i had things strategies that you know my strategy was intact because it had worked for me over time so for those of you who are thinking of coming back to the market or something you just you want to have some some kind of thing to look forward to if you're coming back to the market or if you're thinking of quitting or revisit your educational material once i had the one thousand one hundred dollars it was very straightforward for me because i just went back to watch things that were proven and tested and in your case is a forex mastery program those are video analysis those are educational materials that have worked time and time and proven over and over again from module one to module 12 from how to use candlesticks properly from how to use you know identify the trends how to draw your trend lines properly top-down analysis all of that chat patterns or everything so i just went to revisit my own version of the forex match no mind you i didn't have any forex mastery program to watch it was still my stuff luckily for you guys all that stuff that i you know that i've built over the years is what i've used to create the program so in my own case, I revisited that. And now, yeah, the advantages of revisiting your educational material. Mastery students will tell you this. Once you watch educational material again, especially when it comes to Forex, when you go back to the chart, you are so sharp. 
you're just taking things down like your brain, you know, like every analysis, once you draw the line, it's happening. Your eyes can see. So for if for any time, maybe you've blown your account in the past and then you're looking to fund your account again, always revisit learning materials. What always revisit learning materials, okay? And like I'm, I keep saying in your own case, is the Forex Mastery Program. So that's exactly how I had the confidence to come back into the market, grow that account from 1.1 to 5K, from 5K to 7.4 in the span of maybe another six months. Now, whilst, whilst you're trying to grow your account, I always advise that you have some money in your hand. Like, just, just, just have money. Feel a bit rich. Because once you feel a bit rich, you don't feel the need to keep putting pressure. As my lips are dry. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> once you have money with you, you don't feel the need to you know, put pressure on your trading account because you're not thinking, I have to pay school fees, I have to do this, no, no, Just keep some money aside that you that you can use for your day-to-day -day lives. Because if you rely on your trading performance to give you that daily bread, you will run into big issues because you'll be desperate, you'll be hungry, you want the money to ha happen now. And that is exactly where traders start to make the wrong trading decisions. So long story short, that Paul Willis has his equity curve now, $7,400 he has grown it to and I started speaking to investors again um, You guys have watched the story about the African billionaire. He had invested in me about a year and a half before this issue happened I literally had to let him, him go at the time. So obviously we met again in the UK at the African summit Warwick Warwick African summit Ubuntu Ubuntu was the team was the theme at uh, that time so he was with the vice president of Nigeria we were all together so I saw him and he was like oh how are you how's things going you don't want to work with us anymore I was like no sir I was just going through some personal things and that's exactly how we started um that's exactly how we we, we started um we, we kick things off again so I mean like this 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 should be like a a lesson to you guys guys listen you know, at the end of the day, you, you can't keep listening to what people say to you, right? You you can't you can't allow the noise from outside to get to you. Parents don't like uh, African parents don't believe in digital ways of making money. The spouses don't believe in this because they they they're used to the traditional way of doing things, right? Even not just African parents, parents all over the world. People will tell you stuff. You have to, guys. This is a game that requires your life's dedication. Okay, it does require your life's dedication, and you guys are so lucky. You have that bonus on YouTube. You have the Forex Mastery program that is so cheap; it's ninety nine dollars, literally ninety nine dollars. So you have no excuse. All you need to do is bury your head down and get this thing done. And whatever situation you find yourself in, if you even if you've blown an account, even if you're at a point whereby you feel like giving up, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Now, as at the time I'm recording this video, this is February. The market isn't exactly trending so i know a lot of you guys are a bit frustrated at the moment you're a bit pissed off you need to calm down and relax allow the top-down analysis give you the headway allow the market open up for you because if you keep fighting it you will keep losing money forex mastery students you know i love you guys very much all you need to do is go back on the program try and re if you haven't revisited it revisit it again watch the top-down analysis module compact select three pairs you like my favorite pairs AUD USD at the moment, AUD USD, Euro USD, GBP USD. I'm already long oil. I did a prediction on oil for it to hit $95 a barrel, $92 a barrel. It has actually hit that. Um, made some money on oil. At the moment, the Euro is looking nice to me, but the market just isn't, isn't, it's not trending at the moment. So what do we do? We have to be patient. Okay, we have 11 months in this year to trade. There's a lot of money to be made, right? Don't run into issues because, you know, you're being impatient and all that. Revisit the program. For those of you who haven't gotten the program, the link is going to be down here, somewhere around here again. Revisit the program. Head to uh, Voice Master Student. You know how to access your platform. Revisit the program. Watch it again and calm your nerves. Relax, okay? It's not the end of the world. There's something else I wanted to speak about. I can't even remember. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly how I was able to bounce back um, and things started to pick up from there. I also understood myself a lot more. 
um, I kind of like tweaked my trading style. Now I'm more of an, I, I look at the market from an investor's perspective. I know my yearly goals. My yearly goals are usually about 70%. I like 70%. I'm comfortable with 70%. All I need to do is make seven winning trades in a whole year, which is very, very extremely achievable for me. I'm, I'm a lot more relaxed now. Um, there's nothing you can say to me about Forex that is going to change my mind at this point. I am 100%, 1 million percent committed. Forex changed my life. It changed my... Forex is responsible for everything I have today. Every other business that I have has been funded from Forex, okay? So Forex can be that thing for you as long as you play your cards right. You have a small amount in your trading account. Grow it a little by little, 10% every month. Put the equity curve together and get an investor. Investors are not expecting you to return crazy amounts of money. They just want their little 20-30%. They're not looking for a ridiculous amount of money. And that's how exactly how you start building your base. 50% a year is only 5 winning trades. Don't forget that. 50% return on investment a year is only 5 winning trades. If you have $100,000, that's 50K. You split that with your investor, 50-50 is $25,000 each. I don't know what part of the world you're in right now, but 25K at the end of 12 months is a lot of money for a lot of people. So, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the honest story from how a Forex trader like myself went broke and bounce back into where he is right now living life in dubai living la vida loca enjoying myself all thanks to forex um so yeah once again ladies and gentlemen thank you for staying to the very end of this video i want to say special thanks to the forex mastery students as always people keep complaining like oh what is always what is always talking about forex mastery students like people have invested no matter how little they have invested in my knowledge that means they believe in what i have to offer i am forever indebted to them if you're not part of the family it's too bad <laughs> it's too bad you get what i mean but i would always keep speaking to them when they respond when they ask me questions i'll try as much as possible to respond to them i do this for them okay because they have they have shown commitment a lot of people want free stuff i realized that when i was always looking for free stuff on the internet I didn't get anywhere until I started paying some good money. And the Forex Mastery program is just $99. I spent well over $30,000 in my entire trading life on education alone. So you haven't even scratched the surface. And everything I've learned so far over the years, I put in the program. Um, so another thing that a lot of people keep speaking about on YouTube is the fact that, okay, the, the strategy on the Forex Mastery program, you can't trade it if you have a small trading account. That is a big lie. Now, let me explain to you how it works. Let me explain to you the methodology behind my method, okay, which is the top-down analysis. All the top-down analysis does, okay, is to give you a clear bias, a clear direction. Let's take the euro at the moment, for example. The euro is looking very bullish, very bearish, sorry. It's looking very bearish on a higher time frame due to the top-down analysis. And I'm not trading on the monthly time frame. You're not required to trade on the weekly time frame. As a matter of fact, these time frames are for analysis only. They are for what analysis only. The daily time frame is where we come to start looking for potential setups. In fact, the daily time frame is where we start looking for the trend within the overall trend. What does that mean? Let's say the monthly and weekly are pointing down. You need to come on the daily to find a more recent trend. So that once you have a more recent trend, you can then scale to 4 hour and 1 hour and then trade in that direction. I'll give you an example. Euro week, monthly down, weekly down. Daily needs to give me a trend that is also pointing down as well because it is that daily trend we would then be looking to trade. So... We will now scale to four hour and one hour time frames to now look for entry points. So think about it with your small money, you are always going to trade on one hour and four hour and 30 minutes. So it's the same thing. All this is asking you to do is understand direction, finish. We're just putting more press so that you stand a better chance of having a successful trade. 
Do you get what I mean? Like nobody's stopping you from doing scalping and doing whatever thing it is. It, scalping is just not my style. Okay, you can scalp with it with with the forex mastery program. You can do that. All we're asking you to do is scalp in the right direction. That's all. That's all. And that's 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 the clarity the forex mastery program and the top down analysis brings to the table. Okay, so I don't want to keep seeing comments like, "Oh, I can't hold my trade for so long." You have a lot of money. That's why you cannot. That's a lie. With two hundred dollars, if I take thirty dollars and I get into a trade and I hope click buy, you have thirty dollars. I have thirty thousand dollars. If I click buy and I hold this thirty thousand dollar trade and it goes to five hundred thousand dollars, for instance. You too, when you hold, when you click buy on your thirty dollar trade, and you hold it the same amount of time that I'm holding my own, your own also grows to five hundred dollars as well. It's just buying and holding. This is all I'm saying. Like uh, finding the direction, clicking the trade, and just holding on to the freaking trade. Nobody is asking you to trade on big time frames. You're not even supposed to trade. Like if you were to trade on monthly time frames, nobody will ever trade. So this is some uh, misconception that I also wanted to clear. If you have a if you have a small account, you have a big account. The mastery program is here to give you clarity, direction. Also, my strategy is also on the program as well. If you like my strategy, you can adopt it as well. If you have a strat a lower time frame strategy that works for you, all you need to do is combine what is working for you on lower time frame and watch the top down analysis so that you can put both of them together i have my strategy there as well but if you feel like you want to use yours that's fine so that you know okay this thing is coming down okay so all i'm going to do is now when my own tells me to buy i won't buy when it tells me to sell ahead i'll sell because the overall guy is pointing down so this is the way i want you guys to trade so that's pretty much it. I'm not going to show up any Lamborghinis today, no Ferraris, no this, no that, no girls, no pool, all of that. I just wanted to come on here and clarify a couple of things to you guys and just basically tell you guys that there, that there is hope. Don't quit on this game, okay? Don't quit on this game. There's light at the end of the tunnel. I believe in you guys and I continue to pray for you guys, especially my mastery students. I pray that one day one day not even just one day we're already getting testimonials on my telegram people are telling me sir for the first time in my life i've made a redraw you know people are telling me i'm so i cannot believe that my knowledge that i almost threw away one time in my life is actually impacting and changing people's lives so i'm very happy to see you guys doing very well for those of you guys who are still somewhat struggling your light is around the corner definitely okay if you haven't grabbed the program and sure to do it the link is going to be here around here somewhere if you're on the program keep pushing okay it is straightforward there is what a light at the end of the tunnel okay understand that if the market isn't trending it is going to be tough but if the top-down analysis tells you it is time to go ladies and gentlemen it is time to go and go selling so guys i'm about to go now <laughs> so i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos um maybe the next video i'm going to give you a story about i'm going to jump back on the charts and do analysis so it's going to be it's going to be um life experience forex trading experience analysis uh lifestyle content experiences uh trader talk like technical because technical are the fundamentals of this channel so i keep giving you guys analysis but however these things these stories that these events that happen in my life are very very important for i didn't even realize how important they were until people used to tell me like yo i'm going through the same thing as well so i'm gonna need keep sharing this there are things that have happened you know when I'm going to keep those ones for a subsequent video. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with me till the very end. I know I'm wearing the same shirt I wore in my previous video. Who cares? Take it easy. Peace out.